sorry, I am late. I am so sorry. I am. I was. I had a guest, and I and we were gonna talk about the MJ thing together. And um, uh, his name's John, and he's a really, really, really good blogger. And I like this guy. I like what he has to say. So we were gonna talk about uh, this MJ thing, but we just couldn't get our Zoom to work so we could work together. So I am here with you, and I'm sorry for being late. I'm so sorry for being late. Hello, everybody. I am here. God bless you guys. My name is Miguel A. Nunez Jr. You guys know me from movies like Joanna Man, Life, Scooby-Doo, Harlem Nights, Friday 13, Return of the Living Dead, and lots of other things. But that's not why I'm here tonight. I am here because I. this is Fly Nubian King TV. Com. I want to make sure you guys like this video, share this video with everybody, and make sure you subscribe to FlyNubianKingTV.com because we're going to have a lot of different Fly Nubian Kings coming to this network. There are going to be a lot of different brothers coming on here talking about a lot of important issues that are facing us as an American people. And right now, it seems like there is a an assault. Oprah put the hit out on Mike. Ooh, Carlton Way won said Oprah put the hit on my well you know what we're gonna talk about that too because I, I think Oprah's wrong I love Oprah and I know Oprah means well and Oprah isn't a journalist and she's a tax and she jumps on the current issues of the day and that's her job and she sees the big issues and she jumps on them and we can't fault her for doing her job and doing it well but at some point you have to put your moral and ethics and all of the things in into it into the mix and you should come out with a different answer Micah was always there for Oprah we're going to get into that. Make sure you guys subscribe to FlyNubianKingTV.com. Good evening, Dual Victory. Um, make sure you share this video, like this video, subscribe, 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 because we're going to have a lot of Fly Nubian Kings coming, guys. I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be a network that's going to have some entertainers, actors, producers, directors, uh, 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 just people who, who uh, uh, financial advisors. I want everybody that comes to this network to help you, to be somebody you can learn from and grow from. So that's the whole intent of this network, to enlighten, to uplift, not to just talk about people and downgrade people. That's not what we're about. FlyNubianKingTV.com. Make sure you do that. And if you need to learn about what to do with your damn money, flynubianmoney.com. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Like this site. Share these videos. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, uh, would it be a Harvey Weinstein documentary? Exactly. You see in a documentary, it seems like, again, again, we said this before, it seems like an attack on the black man. But I want to talk about this Michael Jackson thing because... It has perplexed me really, really bad that all of this shit is even coming out. Okay, now, I'm going to start by reading an article which kind of, it's going to lead into a lot of conversations because I'm going to break some of this shit down to, for you. But this was an article and it was why there are no winners in this fight over Neverland. Children have the strangest adventures without being troubled by them. That's what author J.M. Barry wrote in his landmark 1904 novel that introduced the world to Peter Pan, a mischievous boy who wouldn't grow up in a magical island called Neverland. And the children he ascended into the night to join him were there just so he would not be alone. And Barry's right, children have a remarkable resilience when it comes to the oddities of life and when they come their way. Now, you got to remember, when a little child, when all of these oddities and things come at children, they don't see them as the wrong and the, and the, and the vile and the, and the trickery and the dickery and the hoodwinked and the bamboozleness that's coming their way because their children they look at these oddities as they're, they're new to them. They're new experiences. Now, when I look at that video, that guy seemed mighty credible. But my thing is this. Why the hell didn't you say something? Those same guys went up in uh, 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 on court and said that Michael Jackson didn't do anything to them. Now, I understand you can say, well, children were, were you know, maybe damaged or whatever it is. And they were the, 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 the aura of it all may have influenced their thinking. My thing is this. 
children. And this guy was five, seven years old. And if you look at the video, it seems like the, the telltale signs of a predator. Grooming the parents, grooming the family, and all of that. You know, thing. But my thing is this. And they say it's not, if you say it's not for money, if it's not for money, Michael Jackson is dead. He's passed on. Michael Jackson is dead. And if it's not for money, and it can't be for therapy, because if it was for therapy, you would be spilling it in an office with a therapist and not all on TV and trying to tell the world. Because right now, there's only one thing it can be, and that is to embarrass, to shame, and whatever Michael Jackson, because it can't be to get Michael Jackson punished, because Michael Jackson is dead. So what could be the motive other than to smear the name of Michael Jackson? It can be nothing else. You said it's not about money. You're not suing. And it's not about theory, because you, uh, you wouldn't do a victory. Hello. You would not be uh, doing it if you were... If you were uh, 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 trying to get therapy, because you would be with a therapist. You know what I mean? They need to leave Michael Jackson on, let him rest in peace. Deborah Brown, I promise you, Sister Deborah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Michael Jackson is gone, yo. And now you have two guys who testified under oath in a court of law. And it seems to me if they testified in the court of law under oath and said that Michael Jackson did nothing to them, and now they're saying he did, doesn't that constitute perjury? Wouldn't that constitute perjury? Michael Jackson is gone. Now, listen to me. I'm not defending Michael Jackson's uh, 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 actions. I mean, I think it's uh, absolutely ridiculous that a grown man is sleeping with little children and they say he lost his childhood and it's all innocent. And Now, here's my thing. The failure and the breakdown came in with the family. I understand that the little child can be mesmerized and bamboozled by the glory and all of that stuff that the fame that Michael Jackson had and that he was a part of in his little bitty plain life in his little bitty plain neighborhood in his nice little plain house with his plain little family and they had the biggest star on the planet visiting their house and interested in them and flying them around the world and it was a failure on the parents. The parents should have never let their child. Can I stay with you? Can you stay with me? Sure, sure. The parents, the parents gain. They, they, the parents owe more responsibility than this than anybody else. If anything really did happen, the parents are responsible. If you ask me, I'm not letting my child sleep in no bed with anybody. I don't give a damn who you are, guys. I don't care. Uh, positive black family greetings and new beginnings. Thank you, Bonaparte. You need a Bonaparte. Thank you. But I'm going to finish reading this because I think it's important. But what happens when those children grow up to realize that those oddities were something a bit more serious? And this is what some people are saying happened. Now, that guy thought it was odd and he was so mesmerized by the Michael Jackson or and the celebrity that Michael was throwing it on him, flying him all over, taking him places, buy anything you want, buy anything you want. So this is what the claims are. But what happened to those children, they grew up to realize that those oddities were something of a bit more serious and they've been left more trouble than they ever let on. How do we react when they tell us? What do we do about the Peter Pan who accused of being culpable of their pain? These are the questions at the heart of the fight over Neverland, HBO sobering new drama. My thing is this. Why and how and where were your parents doing all of this? How, where was all the claims of all of this abuse when it was going on? Now, I know these guys seen, I watched it. I mean, in fact, I just watched it a little while ago again. And I'm dying to see the Oprah Winfrey part. And a lot of people are not really, they really going in. Uh, they really, really going in uh, on uh, Oprah because Oprah did an interview. Now, I'm not trying to defend Oprah because I wouldn't give them any more form than they have already. And like I said, I wouldn't give them any more form to spew anything negative about. Now, I'm not even saying whether it's right or whether it whether they're right or wrong. Whether you believe Michael Jackson did do it or Michael Jackson didn't do it. He was tried and he lived and he was he lived with the with the with the with the 
accusation of being believed by a lot of people, and he lived with the accusation of being defended by a lot of people. But the bottom line is, now he's gone. So what the hell is your documentary there to do? To shame Michael Jackson, that's all it can do. I'm not saying we're supposed to defend Michael Jackson's actions. Michael Jackson was tried in a court of law. And here's something else that I can honestly say, I don't know if he did or if he did. There were child licensed psychiatrists who spoke all the children. Mike was cleared of all the charges. The FBI was involved. And that is absolutely right. And that's exactly where I was getting ready to go. Michael Jackson was tried. Michael Jackson, I hope the state wins a lawsuit against HBO. They probably will. Probably get a settlement. Um, like they need it. Um, that's a very good point, uh, sweetest princess. They want a black faith pedophile. What about the priest? I want to see that. And that is something that I talked about. And you can go back and look at some of my other blogs, past blogs. And that was one of my biggest ones. I don't understand the outrage at Michael Jackson, the outrage at, at R. Kelly. But the Catholic priest has been doing this in the thousands, in the thousands thousands in the thousands and the average age of boys is of girls is 10.5 years old and the average age of little boys molested by catholic preach is 11.5 years old and there are thousands of them far more than r kelly and michael jackson put together where is the outrage but yet they will still march and hand those men money Still walk in there and ask those men and tell those people and wait for that man to tell them, oh, God forgives you for your sins. While this sinful man is doing some sinful things and he's going to pay his sinful price in this end. So that's exactly the Vatican has paid millions of dollars to pedophiles. Uh, Vanita, uh, to be exact, the Vatican has paid out to date four billion. And that's with a B billion dollars to settle rapist priest that's four billion dollars they ain't cover that up and they can't cover that up four billion yes billions four billion dollars benita benita and i don't see the outrage now if any other business were were, were, were raping children at that rate there would be protests outside the businesses there would be people protesting the establishment and they would not be any, they would have to close down. I'm tired of MJ being dragged through the dirt. Uh, 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 a goddess, I agree with that. He is being dragged through the dirt. And like I said, it doesn't matter now if Michael Jackson is guilty or if he's innocent. He's gone and nothing you can do and nothing you can say is going to do anything. Let's just say everybody says it's right, it's true. You're not going to go sue in this state. Michael Jackson is gone. What are you going to do? Dig him up and put him in jail? Shit, my TV just came on, scared the hell out of me. Hold on. Wow, that's scary. My TV just came on by itself, y'all. A lot of shit like that happen around here. But anyway, guys, I want you guys to listen to me. Thank you, Miguel. I got to thank you. Yes. Listen, um, guys, listen, um, you are watching FlyNubianKingTV.com. Michael has been acquitted and proven innocent, Swedish princess. Yes, he has. And he, he surely has. And the Illuminati turned your TV on. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I want you to know that you're watching FlyNubianKingTV.com. I need you to hit that thumbs up button to like the video, share this video, and let's um, make sure that you subscribe to Fly Nubian King TV. Because like I said, we're going to have a lot of people coming here, a lot of people coming on this network, and you're going to be surprised. Don't forget, you might see somebody really cool as my guest this week. A couple of people is coming. So anyway, make sure you like the video and make sure you... Also, um, if you want to uh, get text notifications uh, of everybody that's coming in, you text FNK, FNK to 31996, FNK to 31996, and that way you're going to get notifications of everybody that's coming on here, what we're we talking about, who we're we talking about. I'm going to do some acting classes coming up in here soon because a lot of people, uh, you know, I do private tutoring and a lot of people ask me about acting classes. So I'm going to be doing that uh, very, very soon. And if you got any questions about acting, anything like that, you've always wanted to know, 
don't hesitate to just shoot that right there and ask me and I will help you as much as I can. Because a lot of times you can't get the help you need from people because everybody won't try to charge you shit. You know what I mean? They won't try to charge you shit. I'm right here for you because you're my friends and you're my fans. And that's how I feel about it. But uh, anyway, so let's get back to it. Uh, and a lot of things. And one of the things that struck me as I was watching the Michael Jackson's um, Leaving Neverland was the parent. And how the parents were just leaving the little... Ch and if, like I said, if this is... I don't know, Michael J. I just feel like I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the parents failed their children. If that is true, that means that the parents really did fail their children. And sitting in there being so in awe of all the shit they were getting in the places, they, all that materialistic shit at the expense of the soul of their child. And she's sitting in a chair doing the interview. <laughs> and then Michael, and then, and then Michael. Well, if you know the end outcome was the total devastation and and and, and, and emotional dis d destruction of your child, um, then how the hell do you you could I couldn't even be laughing. I would be like, and then Michael would take us and and then he 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 I would be explaining them. I would be laughing. Oh yeah, he was so fun. <laughs> and then at the end part, when you start telling, you get you know, sad. It sounds like it's more entertainment than it is trying to find out and to reveal the truth. What's up, Miguel? Great information. Keep it coming. His way, 1995. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem real to me. And it, and I'm a parent, yo. I'm a parent. But granted, I have daughters, and then my my kids were shit. My kids were probably. I think 11 or 12 before we ever let anybody keep them. Never once did they even have a damn babysitter without one of us. We had a nanny, but neither one of us left them with the nanny alone because I saw videos of nannies hitting children. And I knew for a fact, if I ever came home and looked at my nanny cam and saw somebody beating and hitting on my child like I had seen on the video, woe to thee. Jesus would have came down again right there to stop me from what I would have done. Jesus would have had to have come down. He would have done just like that, and it would have been the hand of God. That's how bad it would have been. Okay, so I know that. So I don't know how, I don't give a damn if you, Michael Jackson, uh, uh, Angel, whoever you are, my kid sleeping in your bed? What the fuck is wrong with you? And the parents said yes. They so happy. Ooh, we had a suite. Ooh, Max Evans, what's up? We had a suite, and then we had a big old suite, and then, then they had us in a big old suite, and then they had us in first class, we had first class, we all in first class, then I bought my grandma, and then he bought the damn grandma, and then the suite, she had a suite, and we had his first class, and all of us in the suite, and then after a the while, they start moving our suite. Then they start moving us on the other side of the hotel. Well, and when they started moving you on the other side of the hotel and your suite wasn't next door to Michael's suite, why didn't you take your son over there? And if you'd have kept your son over there out of Michael Jackson's suite, then maybe he would have kept that suite a little closer. But you weren't thinking about your child. So I think a lot of that, a lot of that blame goes to the parents because your children, you have to protect your kids. A seven-year-old kid like he was, a five-year-old kid like he was, a seven or five, a nine or eight, a 10, 11, or whatever they are like they are right now are not in a position to protect themselves from the smart, genius pedophiles out there who groom and know, and they have been experienced and they know how to do it. And the parents get all mesmerized and they get all blown away by it. And then you go down and buy them some shit, give them a first-class ticket in the suite, and now I can have your son come to my room. It makes no sense. Parents are trying to keep a payday. Deborah Brown, they were trying to keep a payday at the soul and the expense of their child. And if you can look behind the eyes of that boy, children are innocent and they're trusting and they're vulnerable. They are absolutely vanilla. And that is the point that I'm making. They're trusting and they're vulnerable. And I, I remember one time when I, my baby was little and it struck me really because I was at some store and my baby could be paralyzed to this very day. Um, and I remember no one could pick up ba babies better than me, and that was what my ex-wife would tell me too. When I was like, just get a babysitter, we can just go. No. And I'm like, they're going to look after. No one's going to protect your child better than you. 
And that is the best fucking answer someone ever said. But I remember once I was at a store, my baby was little, and I was at a counter at a department store. And I remember just sitting on the counter like this, like this, and then I went, went to grab my wallet, and she went <laughs> and fell completely off the counter, and I saw her back go. <laughs> Thank God she was, and it went like the other way. It looked like she completely broke her back, but she was fine. And I remember she was crying, and she was crying, and she was like, she was little, and she was like, Daddy, you're supposed to watch out for me. And ever since then, she said, you're supposed to watch out for me. And I, from that point on, I never took my eyes off my babies. And that's exactly how you have to be. And for you parents to be so, and the dad end up hanging himself. One of the fathers ended up hanging himself. It's a sad story all along. And like this article states, there is no winners. But the main point still remains the same. What is your point behind this thing? What is your end game? If you say you're not trying to sue, if you say it's not about money, it is very sad, Anita, and it's not about money. If you say that's the case, then if it's not about money, then I want to know, then, you know, what is it? Why, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Tylen, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Why are you doing it? Why did Mike, why are you trying to destroy Michael Jackson's name for not money? And like I said, if you really think it can't be safe, don't say it's therapy and then wanted to get it out because your ass wouldn't be on TV doing your ass be in the therapist's office. So what is the end game? What is it about? Oh, it can only be one thing, and that's to destroy Michael Jackson's name. And that's why I say it's wrong. Now, let's talk about Oprah Winfrey. Now they said Oprah Winfrey is getting ready to do an interview with them. I though I, I wouldn't do an interview with them. I wouldn't give them another platform. Because I think Michael Jackson is one of our treasures, no matter what he's done. The issue is about destroying the legacy of Michael Jackson. It has to be money to bankrupt his estate. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a lot of people are saying that, of course. Like, they're attacking that. Now, listen. They're attacking them all. They're attacking all the black famous folks. They're going at them. Like I said, we got priests. They ain't touching the priests. So, in other words, if you want to molest a child, all you need to do is become a priest and you protect him. Other than that, yeah, it's going to jail. You can't become a famous singer, you're going to get arrested. You can't become a famous actor, Bill Cosby, you're going to get arrested. Unless you're a famous producer, Harvey Weinstein, or a famous white actor like Charlie Sheen. He gave people AIDS. He gave people AIDS and everything, and he's still out of jail. Still out of jail. It is absolutely amazing to me that so many black folks are being put down, taken down, for the same exact things that so many of these white people are being are guilty of, but nothing is happening. It is amazing to me that we're not outraged by that particular thing. And I'm not saying that 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 lessens what they've done because they're not arresting any white people. But I'm just saying it does seem like I'm sorry. Every day you hear about another black person, another black person, another black person, another black person, another black person. Another black person. I don't get it. Harvey Weinstein still kicking it and he laying low. Because, you know, the white folks seem to lay low. When they get that shit, they lay low. They just lay low. Black folks be all out in the news. Done got away with shit now. They all out in the news. All hope involving this fraudulent. Get it back. Ten fuck. Oh, yes, I agree. I remember I was watching one program and there was a white detective after Michael Jackson's first acquittal who was so upset and he was so pissed that Michael Jackson got acquitted, that what he did was he actually sold his business, took thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, and he said, I'm going to prove to the world Michael Jackson did it. He said he was going to prove to the world Michael Jackson. So he spent all of this money and all of these years investigating because he said when he finished proving it, he won't be able to get away again. But you know what happened? What's up, Super, uh, Super Mike? Uh, but you know what happened? After he finished his years of investigation and spending all of his money hating Michael because he wanted to prove that Michael Jackson did it and because he wanted to prove that Michael Jackson should not have been acquitted, after he finished it, he started doing a tour. And his tour was how Michael Jackson has been railroaded. Because after all of his investigation, 
He said, it is the worst thing I've ever seen. And he believed to his death, Michael Jackson was 100% innocent. And he's somebody who went into this fully intended, with the full intention of proving Michael Jackson was a child molester. And that everything they said was right, but all his investigation and all of his money proved it quite the opposite. Now, I'm not trying to justify Michael Jackson's action. I'm not saying that that's a reason for us to say that none of the things Michael Jackson accused of, but um, uh, you know, can they even, Max Evans, can they even convict Michael Post? Uh, most, most, uh, hell no. He's, it's over. They can't. Um, they can't. They can't. So, and he ended up coming to the conclusion that Michael Jackson was totally innocent. Of all of those charges, and there's some people who don't believe that Michael Jackson paid that first person off just because he didn't want the publicity. But that is exactly what you do in a person because the, 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 the worst part of all of that for Michael is the, is the publicity. That's what a, a celebrity in his position don't need. And I, and I agree with you, uh, Super Mike 21. And no, everybody's going off on Oprah right now. You see some of the things they're talking about. They're calling out vile, disgusting names. And like I said, the reason Oprah is doing this is because, and I'm not saying this defends Oprah. Hello. <laughs> I'm not defending this, but um, Oprah isn't a reporter. And I know, but and, and it goes back to, to the Steve Harvey thing and, and, and integrity. It's about integrity. Oprah should not be doing an interview with these two guys. I'm sorry. Now, I understand she's a reporter, and you have to get the story. It is the hottest thing going right now. It is a hot catch to get these two guys, uh, because I guess, you know, now they're right, the, the, the flavor of the moment. And like I said before, the press is like a greedy monster that has to continually be fed. Hey, <laughs> Is like a, a greedy monster that has to be fed. And when it's not fed, then it starts to make stuff up because it's not being fed. Can you close that door, please? Uh, and that's exactly what they're doing. Oprah is being an opportunist. Hold on one second. Uh, someone just said Oprah has been an opportunist. I think that's exactly what it is, and I don't think Oprah needs this. I don't think she needs the money. I don't think she needs this interview. And I think out of integrity, Oprah, and respect for Michael, who I thought were really good friends with Oprah, who I thought really loved Oprah, and I thought Oprah really loved him, I don't think she should have done the interview. And I think it would have been very, very smart, courageous, respectful thing for Oprah to turn that interview down. That's what I think. Trying to take down another black man's image. They're going to do that. That's exactly what they're doing. And they're going to keep doing it. And then as a policeman just shot somebody in Sacramento, the DA didn't even want to press charges. We got to wake up, yo. It's happening. It is happening right here. It's happening before us. We got to start praying more. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what you believe. We got to start praying more. And if you don't believe prayer works, then you must be living like shit. Because I promise you prayer works. I promise you it works. It may not come when you want it, but it comes right on time. And here's the thing. A lot of people are praying for the wrong shit. That's the thing. People praying for the wrong shit. People praying, oh, Lord, give me a million dollars, a million dollars, a million dollars. God is not going to give you any blessing whatsoever that your integrity is not ready to accept. Do you think God's going to give you a million dollars? God knows what's going to happen in the six months from now with your million dollars. He knows you're going to be out there buying them phantom. He knows you're going to be out there buying you about five or six of these. He know that. He know that. And he knows you don't need that. He knows you're not going to tithe. You're not even going to think about tithing. He knows you're not going to give it to your mother, your father, your brother, help these people. God's going to only give you what is going to be right and it's going to help you at that particular point. Once your integrity get to a certain point, then you're going to get more. So that's the key. But anyway, uh, I want you guys to do me a favor. Make sure you hit the button. Make sure you like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Share this video because I know everybody's talking about uh, Michael. Michael built Oprah Winfrey's brand. The interview with Michael Jackson is the highest interview Oprah had in her professional career. Benita, I didn't know that, Benita. But that just proves right there. Can you turn the volume up some, please? Oh, I don't know how to do it. I'll just talk louder, sweetie princess. I'll just talk a little louder. But yeah, um, 
I did not know that Oprah's, if that's the case, and Michael gave her the highest interview she ever had, I think what Oprah's doing is totally wrong. Oprah has something to hide that's connected to David Gavin. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I don't think Oprah was really thinking it out in the terms of what we're thinking. I think, like I said, Oprah was thinking about, oh, this is the big, the big interview. And everybody's going to want to see it. And they're going to be happy that I got it for them. I think that's what Oprah thought. I bet you, I don't know if it's, it's like being, do you not want, did you, would you think about it twice now because you got caught? In, 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 cer in a certain way. Hold on. Hello? Hold on one second. I'm right back. Not, no, they didn't. It's impossible. Oh, uh, well, then whichever one, tell them to do the other two. That's not possible. I'm going to call you right back. I'm online. I'm positive. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my daughter. She's stuck outside. She just got her car towed, and now I got to go deal with that, guys. But anyway, so um, uh, I'm going to try to text her while we talk. But anyway, I don't really think Oprah should have done that interview. I think Oprah should have had more respect for... Uh, Hold on one second. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to cut this off. I think they, my my daughter, my daughter's going through something.